Uh, let's see. Game controller added. Boy. The idea of playing this game with a... Like a an actual game controller scares me. I... And maybe that's part of it. I don't get scared or spooked that often, usually just because I feel like I'm I'm generally in complete control of what's going on. But I feel like I would be scared shitless if I was using a controller or had subpar controls for whatever reason. Because normally when I'm playing a game, I know exactly like how to respond and how to deal with things. Um, and so suddenly taking that away by by having you know controller and Instead, I think that would throw me off real bad. Okay, so let's clear inventory first and go from there. So what's the cutest game, uh, cutest thing in the game for you? Absolutely the, uh, the baby penglings. Like, is there, is there even any question on that one? Those, those suckers are adorable. Alright, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put away some of my, my bonus stuff. Holy shit, I have a lot of batteries. Oh, that I don't actually really need now that I'm thinking about it. That's okay. All right. So, first and foremost, let's turn this map off. Let's take a look at the upgrades on this guy. So, 1350. That's pretty good. I'm gonna let's split this off. Nice part is because the sea truck has the uh, the extra storage module that I'm not really supposed to have. I gotta check something real quick. Did I remember to put the depth module on this thing? Because if I didn't, this guy starts popping. Okay, we good. Now, I don't actually remember what the uh, the deepest depth in this game was. I was actually trying to look it up beforehand, but I couldn't find a good map of the deepest parts of the game. Uh, let's see. There we go. Yeah, the trivalve is adorable. Did I eat one of those? I feel like I did. Okay, so we were going to pop the upgrade out of this. Oh, I'm stuck again, aren't I? Nip. Hi, I wonder. Hi, a silent warlock cosplay. How you doing? That was life on your end of the internet Maximum and world. Reached. Hall damage imminent. I guess that goes for everybody. It doesn't just have to be you. I like good news. So, tether tool, don't care too much, and I think we also have a new fish that I could have cooked. Spicy fruit salad. Oh, but that's meaningless because I don't actually have that on hand. Uh, what I want to... Here. Oh, I ate a triops, not a trivalve. Probably for the best. Okay, so I wanted to take a look at this. Well. My sea truck will be able to go... Forever as deep as it want uh, as I want to. What about the prawn? On depth module mark three. Below zero. Does it exist? It doesn't look like it, actually. So... Are we out of upgrades for this sucker? Well, it can go down to 20, uh, 2,000 meters. Which is, uh, ridiculous, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Wonder would you try the VR version in this game? Unsure. So... I have an Oculus uh, Rift S, but I don't really like it. It's got some big cords and I'm not really comfortable with that. Uh, let's see. I can't do anything in here. Um, and uh, so I was actually thinking of picking up an Oculus Quest 2, mostly just for myself. I don't think I'd be able to do live commentary that easily for it. Maybe? Yeah, armor for better ramming. Maybe. Okay. There we go. We're going to separate these out. So I've got a couple of options here. 
I could get the arms for the for the Isekai Express, like I originally considered. But I think I'm specifically going to uh I th I think I'm just gonna keep it as is and not have to worry about it. Uh because yeah, I could I could keep going off on these wild side quests. But I don't I don't think that's actually really worth my time. I think it's time that we we make some progress in life. Wonder how's your day been? Been pretty quiet. Woke up a little later than usual because we were up late. Um doing some managerial stuff and Discord moderation. Um and then okay. Oh, I am maneuverable. I am small. It still feels like this this thing is like slightly angled and it bothers me. Oh, but yeah, I woke up slightly late and spent pretty much the entire morning organizing clips so I can start uploading them at a more regular speed. Oh, we should probably repair something too. Uh, question. Can I can I repair this in here? No. I have to be here. Okay, how's the prawn doing? Prawn's doing good. Everything's got some mad power. So, I need to find... Hmm. Yeah, the big issue is the leviathans are kind of in my way. And the map is completely worthless here. Is this just like a big loopy donut? I'm just going to familiarize myself with the terrain as best as possible. It's not strictly a big loopy donut. But it is certainly big. Okay. So if I want to get back to my base, I go up and hang a right. Now do I need do I need kyanite for like any reason? If I did, I'd stop here. Here's a question. Aha! Okay, I might not be able to get the 3D map that I'm necessarily looking for normally, but I can... I can... I can stop piloting for a hot second. And pull out my sea glide. And more or less use that instead. I'm just gonna isekai a damn lot of fish here. So, thing is, I know there's I know there's two locations to find. Was that it? Probably not it. I'm looking for a deep crevasse. Probably. Or a base of some variety. Well, this looks deepish. But this might be another one of those mining caves. I mean, I, I appreciate them purely for the uh, the sense of security that I get by being in here where I know. The Leviathans can't get to me? Yeah, it seems like there's just a bunch of nothing. Alright. Yeah, there's a module that the Isekai, Isekai uh, Express can have that can teleport you back instantly. Yeah, uh, we got it. Like, we got it yesterday. I just wasn't particularly interested because I didn't think it was going to help me too much. Mainly, I'm trying to keep the Isekai Express pretty... 
pretty small. And that's going to be a lot easier to do if I don't have, like, this giant train. Unless unless it's, like, a, a module that I, I plug in here. You know, one of the mod mods. As opposed to, like, a whole section. Eh, looks like it might go down. I don't know. Look. Okay, that at least looks halfway... Halfway functional. Let's try the, uh, the prawn for this. So what does Isekai mean? I... Uh, it means in another world, technically, I think. I think that's the direct translation. Alright, this seems ridiculously deep. But it might just be another mining cave. Damn it, really? It is another mining cave, though. It does look like there's an area even deeper than this. Yeah, no dice. More accurately means lost or transported into another world. I think, um, I think sp specifically it means just another world, but it's been used as a genre uh, descriptor for, for people that have gotten lost in another world. I could be wrong on that one. Okay. I could potentially use some rubies. So I'm going to snag a number. We burnt through a lot of them making all the depth modules that we possibly did not need to make. Let's see. I, there's some. And one thing that I think I am getting stuck on a little bit with this game is that there's a lot of dead ends. Oh. Is that the hole? We're looking for a crevasse that goes deeper than the rest. And this looks incredibly promising. However, I feel like I should probably have my my Isekai Express for this one. Hey, thank you, Marty Pa, uh, PA34, for gifting us up to Wesley. Thank you. Alright. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. Oh, oh no. What happened? That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, how did I not notice this? This giant crystal Shazam that just goes deeper. There is definitely something of value nearby. It could help you build my body. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. This is pretty. Let's see, anything else? Not really. I guess there's not a whole lot of loot to look for either. They have so much depth on a sea truck. Mods, beautiful mods. Lovely mods. Why do they just have organs here? You will be able to construct bionic organs with the scanned material, both primary and secondary. Our designs provide for redundancies. 
Given your current location, I think they could still be improved. Your feedback has been noted. You have scanned all the components we need to make a storage of your body. Are you excited? Using the chemical compounds available in your body, I am able to approximate what you might call cautious optimism. Now what? Okay. It looks like there's another chamber that extends kind of that a ways. Yeah, mark for depth upgrade. It marks six. Uh, six. Constructing my body. Great. What's next? Let's get you out of my head. First, you must find the fabrication facility. It is concealed at some depths. Fabrication facility. So you planned on needing to make new bodies? It is a standard medical facility. A medical facility where you just replace your whole body when it wears out? Sounds a little beyond standard to me. Ours was a research mission of the highest importance. So what were you, a scientist like me? I am a scientist now. So what happened? Your team found the vaccine and then- Please, Robin, you have the components Find the facility and construct the body. Okay, but don't think I don't notice you changing the topic. Okay. Let's drink some water real quick. It's not letting me. There we go. I gotta look at this. No, so I guess the pathway I was looking at is further in. Or maybe we just need to be higher up a bit. Oh. There's just two alternative entrances. I think this is the one I came in on. This is probably just another viable exit. But in the interest of science and exploration, I figure we might as well go out this way. This is going to be the one. Nope. I don't think they can come down here. Okay. Time to piss off a critter. Or not. We might have gotten lucky there. So you know that red zone that I found? That one that was very clearly, like, special and here we go? Perfect. This is where we're going. I am hearing just so many fish dying on my hull, and half of them I feel like aren't me. Aren't my fault. I should... I should probably have scanned that. Oh, well. Because I guess I haven't... No, I... Do I need to scan over here, then? There's something that popped up for, like, a hot second that I could have scanned. Well, grab the Kyanite, though we know where to get tons of it. Which is why I haven't been going out of my way to get more. Well, I haven't the faintest. How's the truck doing? Yeah, I could use a little bit of a touch-up. There we go. This is a really slick ride. Works really dang well. Small, maneuverable, and yeah, it has two 
two potential modes of transportation that I can work with. I'd almost love to see like a, a greater the presence of a substantial facility in the area. Unable to identify. Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting a third and a fourth one of these guys. But here we go. Let's hope none of them are immediately hot on my tail, otherwise this is going to be really embarrassing. Once you have used the fabricator to build each component, we can assemble them. And then we can transfer you out of my head? I am anticipating it as much as you are. All right, there we go. Well, this... This sucks a bit. On the flip side, those are pretty easy to make. The process requires you to build each component before you can assemble the whole. Okay, well... We got what we needed, so we need two more kyanite, which should be easy enough to find. Uh, let's see, do I want to just... Perfect. So where the hell... Oh. You know what, while we're here... Beacon Manager, let's turn off some of these. So we don't need to see Springfield, Margin in Charge... Crash ship base or Delta station dock. There we go. Okay, so crystal caverns are up there. Um, that, that's my base. It's a thousand meters away. Holy shit! All right. This might become kind of dicey getting in and out of here. Because I don't... I don't know the exact entrance to this place. Or the exit. Boy, with the exception of, I think, one or two of these items, I have all of this stuff just on hand. Uh, let's see. Okay, maybe not exactly on hand. On hand enough. We should have enough diamonds. You just jam a beacon in it, into it. Having the foggiest. Cheating. Okay, so we've got our three kyanite. I'm gonna snag one more just for the road just in case there's something I've missed let's see but this should be a, a solid entrance okay crystal caverns are there in that general direction grab one one more of these I don't think we really need like six kyanite Okay. Anything else? I don't think so. Nope. Well, I can't pick that up. It's fine. I got six. So, polyaniline I should be able to make. Ribbon plant I've got a supply of. Ion cubes I should have tons of. There's weird eggs that I picked up a long time ago and I had no idea what they were for and never found a use for them. We finally have a use for it. I think we're good, actually. So we can kind of write this area off pretty soon. I say pretty soon, but we also have to figure out how to leave. 
Which is not the easiest thing. I don't know where I'm at on diamond supply. Or like rubies or a couple other things. I'm going to operate it under the assumption I'm probably fine. Hey, thank you, Elsian, for the 13-month resub. Another wonderful month of chill lurking. Well, thank you. And I'll let you get back to that. Yeah, I don't think any of the, the Leviathans are going to come, come through here specifically. Could be wrong. Before we're done, I'm probably going to arm my prawn with a hell of a lot of torpedoes. See if there's an infinite ammo cheat, really, is the answer. And then we can just go bananas for, you know, a smidge. Boy, it, uh, it certainly takes a while to get back home. That's not so bad, though. Okay. Well, do we... Yeah. Disconnect for a hot second. Welcome aboard, Captain. There we go. Get our juice back. I... Can I repair it? There we go. I'll just let that repair for a little while. I love how we put, like, one reactor rod in here, and that might honestly be enough. Okay, so we need two diamonds. Some polyaniline, which I think this might be the first time I've ever had to actually go out of my way to make it. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Boy, she's really bad at stabbing the right thing. I'm just going to grab that ribbon plant. Okay. So we're going to replant the ribbon plants and those. We're going to go over to this one, and we're just going to dump a bunch of these. I think I've got a huge supply sitting around. Okay, there's a two gel sacks, and we can immediately replant them. Should probably propagate the species a bit better, but whatever. I'm just mostly interested in having uh, as much as possible. Let's see. So what's what's next? Well, we need an ion cube. We need synthetic fibers. Might have to go find a spiral plant. Where were the spiral plants? <laughs> uh, maybe I have another another one in storage somewhere. I certainly hope so. I guess let's double check. Uh, it's under... No. Research. Exploitable flora. It doesn't your scan room tell you. Only if it's within range. If it's not, I'm out of luck. Yeah. 
So, none in the area. Not that that's really a big deal. I'm... There's like two places it could be and I just don't remember. Okay. So I'm looking for... Spiral plant below zero. It is... Deep purple vents. Yeah, we found like one set and that was about it. Uh, let's see. Should have plenty of water. Honestly, I've frankly got plenty of food. As long as I don't accidentally knife it. Right, jam food in face. You know, at the beginning of this, I was honestly considering just turning on the mode where I don't have to worry about food and water. I think I should have done so with this one. Okay. Oh, wait, hold up. Didn't I straight up find the spiral plant, like, up here? And this is, like, the only spot I ever found any of them, and I only found, like, one, but it was enough. Damn it. And I'm... I gonna need my prawn for any of this stuff? I don't think so. Not yet, anyway. We got one more place to go to, but I think I'm gonna build Alan first. There we go. This is the right area. So that's actually super convenient for me. Not that there's a whole lot of them, unfortunately. But that's okay, because you really only need, like, a handful over the course of an entire game. But yeah, it's a super convenient place to actually, uh, have to go looking. I'm gonna just grab a couple more of these. I... look. Excess is safety. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go back to our old base and loot it. Because I think it's specifically... It has those yellow eggy things that we need. And the real question is, am I going the right direction? I think I am, yes. Am I? Yeah, I am. And this is the usual way I go down, isn't it? No, it's not. Is my base, like, right here? There it is. I knew it was nearby. I could just turn on the beacon, but I'm going to be lazy. Aboard, yeah, don't forget to drink water in real life. I'm usually pretty good at hydrating. I could probably do it a little bit. Uh, let's see. Perfect. Polyaniline. And synthetic fibers. What was the other thing that I needed? Oh, cotton anemones. But we got tons of those. Okay, and the last thing we need are these random-ass looking eggs. That I have exactly two. Root pustules. I don't remember if they're useful for anything. There's also the flowery, flowering spore, which I don't think we ever used for anything. We found them, and I was like, oh, that's cool. And then that was it. Alright. Well. Now that we're done with this, we failed to climb into our, our submarine, as we do. Pop back into the sea truck. Has Wander been in the big jellyfish? You know, I haven't. And it's because the last time I tried to, the 
the big bad leviathan beastie uh, came by for a nibble. And I was genuinely unappreciative and decided I'd probably rather do other things with my, my time and hit points. So yeah, realistically, I should go back. Where the heck? Crystal caverns. I can never find the crash ship around here that gets me in. Because it's not that one. Is there? Yeah, I guess it is. I'm just too up. Yeah, it seems about right. There we go. It's so slick. Just the the smooth turn. They really nailed the feeling of maneuvering underwater in this game. In a way, I don't think I will ever see another game. What the hell's... Oh. Oh, right, right, right. That's where Fish Puncher is. Do I even need Fish Puncher? Not really, no. Not for where we're headed. Let's go maximum maneuverability. Nobody can catch me. I'm the gingerbread truck. This is actually super convenient. Holy shit. Alan turns out to be hostile. I wouldn't mind a prawn suit. I... Huh. This is a valid point. Well made. But I'm gonna trust... I, I'm gonna put my trust in snarky alien robot man. You're an idealist, I get it. Yeah, hell yeah I am. Look, I'm putting my trust in him, not my full faith. It'd be really weird if he turned Alan, out to be bad. You said your people came here in search of a cure? I was a researcher. You were a scientist? Like me? My people regarded my scientific contributions with particular interest. As I said, like me. If that is your interpretation. So, how did your valuable scientific mind wind up infected? Not my mind. My body. Perhaps you should build the next component. Alternatively, what if he is bad? What if he was the one that made the bacterium? Or it was his and it got loose. So you came here to search for a cure? I led the mission. Does that mean the bacteria got out on your watch? This subject is uncomfortable. If you would like to know more, I will ask that you first construct the final component. Now that's a cool torso. Oh no, those are tissues. This is the last piece. Soon I will be autonomous again. What will you do with your newfound freedom? I must return home to make amends. Amends? For the bacterium? There seems to be a lot you're not telling me. It is hard for me to find the words. I must collect my thoughts. We have all the necessary components. You may initiate body fabrication sequence from the terminal. You still owe me an explanation. I understand. Commence installation in the infrared location. 
the escape of the bacterial was an accident. I thought my solution was foolproof. I was wrong. Did you cause the accident? Yes. Oh. I do not wish to speak about it. We can come back to this. Hey, Rito and Associated Raiders. Welcome to Build an Alien Workshop, where we just made... Uh, made our alien dream boat and are currently going to put uh, his soul back into him. So initiate transfer? No. What scan! Research. Tit for tat. You've probed my mind. I scan your body. Anyway. Commencing data to transfer. <sighs> Did it work? Are we... It has been some time since I last stretched out in so many dimensions. Like waking from a dream. Whoa. Hey. You're really not in my head anymore? There are some remnants. Would you like your memories of me removed as well? Are you kidding? No way. You still owe me the end of your story. I told you I must return home. To assess. Repair. Make amends. Tell me more. When the bacteria escaped, it was my fault. I disobeyed the directive from my network. Oh, no. We noticed that a species of Leviathan young produced an enzyme that is efficient against the bacteria. I thought if we incubated sea dragon eggs, we might expedite their hatching. I was not wrong. But? It would appear that sea dragon parents are stronger and more motivated than our facility was rated to handle. And the bacteria got out. Affecting everything. How many survived the outbreak back home? Are they still waiting for someone to bring back a cure? I do not know. Can I help? The fact that I withheld this information does not concern you. It was certainly manipulative. And I've also made my own share of mistakes. I'm still committed to helping. I accept your help. Find me at the gate when you are ready. In the meantime, I must prepare. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Please, I will join you in the gate base when everything is ready, but for now I have much to prepare. You can cook food in the fabrication terminal to keep your food up. I can cook here? <laughs> no. I can't. Where? What fabrication terminal? This thing? No way. Where? I was really hoping I could, I could cook up, like... Fake architect organ sushi. 